Hi, I'm Eric from RockyMountainATVMC.com and today I'm going to show you how to install a moose. So here we are today, we're getting ready to install this uh, moose. For those of you who aren't familiar with them, it is a foam insert that takes the place of your tube, uh, prevents flats. It's uh, almost impossible to get a flat. Now these do wear out um, and you know, eventually it'll feel like you've got a flat tire, but it takes quite a while to get to that point. Uh, most of your racers will use these just because there's just no chance of getting a flat and ruining your race, ruining your day. To install these, there's kind of some tricks, there's some tools that you should use. Uh, I've done quite a few of these where I haven't had the right tools or I didn't know the right technique, and you can really struggle. For those of you that have struggled putting in a tube, uh, you understand this is just probably the next level. But these are also the, the inserts that they, they use it like the ISDE and there's guys out there that can change them, you know, less than a minute, ch totally change the tire off. And, and that's something that you'd have a hard time doing with a tube. But let's get to the tools part. You know, some of the, some of the things we're gonna need, need. Of course, you know, you're gonna need the foam insert. Uh, we're using the Michelin today. Um, and then I've had really good luck with the curved tire iron. Uh, you can use different kinds or a mixture of both. It's all kind of a personal preference. And make sure that we're gonna use plenty of the lube that's su supplied with the uh, foam insert. And, you know, back to the tire irons real quick. Uh, you want lots of these. Uh, at least four, um, five or six is sometimes better. Um, and then we're using the Rabaconda today. It's actually takes a lot of the work out of this. It's the right tool for the right job. There's other things out there that you can use, but um, I found that this is probably one of the easiest tools to use to change a miss. Okay, we're ready to start here. And the very first thing we're gonna do is we need to uh, lube everything up. The, the key to making these last and the key to getting them on is plenty of lubrication. And so we're gonna, we're gonna use this whole tube. Um, I've even heard of people getting extra tubes and using them, but this, this will be sufficient. So we're going to start with the tire here and you're basically just going to put it inside, squish it in, you know, and I'm using oh, about half the tube maybe inside there. And then I'm just going to use my hand. I'm just going to smooth it out so there's it's touching all sides. So the reason why the lube is an important part of this is because heat is the enemy, right? So anytime you have friction, so the two surfaces are uh, fighting each other in there, um, that's, that's where the heat buildup starts and the heat is what breaks down the foam. So that is why. All right, then we're gonna move on to the insert. It's kind of fun, cause this, uh, this turns into it gets really slick and we're gonna have to use some force here in a minute to get it down inside this tire. So, all right, we're ready to go. We got that all lubed up. And so to get it started, you know, once again, I said it's, it's slick. So kind of get it in where you, where you wanna start it. And then I'll grab my foot and actually use my foot to help roll that around. And it's kind of alarming as that's going in because it's really pushing the tire out. You're thinking to yourself, there is no way that is gonna go in there. So there you go. We're 
We're all seated in there and we're ready. So we can run over now and go to the Rabaconda here. And you want to start, you know, make sure it's not directional. This tire is not directional, I don't believe. And we're going to start on the, the rim lock. So you want to get that bottom bead started on there. And you're going to use a little force. Once you're started, grab a couple tire irons here and we're just going to start working that thing on. Taking little bites. All right, so I've got the first bead on. So now I'm gonna push that down and get that, you need to get that moose all the way down in there, all the way into the drop center. And you can, you can pull, you know, if you've got the tool, you can pull it and kind of push it down and really get it, you know, get that moose really dropped in there. So now we're going to come around and we're going to start right on the, on the side of the rim lock. So the rim lock's right here. We want the rim lock to be back, last. And so we're actually going to start right to the side and we're going to work our way back around to here. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and start the first one. We're going to get that first start, side started down. Now it's important to make sure that you're staying down on this side over here. We want to make sure that the moose doesn't try to drop out of, jump out of the drop center. So we're just going to start spooning this on, just taking little bites. So we've got this started over here. We're going to spin our spoon around we're actually going to leave it down in there. And so what that's going to do is when we get over to this other side, it's going to let the tire actually pull down into the drop center. So we have room to get the bead on over on this other side. And you can use as many of these as you want. I'm actually going to drop another one in right here. Sometimes the more is merrier. All right, jump around on this other side over here. We're getting close to the bead lock. So we're gonna start pulling this down in on this other side. There it goes, just sunk down so we're in good shape now. If that doesn't sink down, you've actually gotta come back and place some more back in there because you can actually break that bead wire. And that's definitely something we don't want to do. So we're getting close over here at the end, just taking little bites. So we're getting close to this bead lock now. So you want to push the bead lock in. Sometimes you can spin this around a little bit. Use the Rabaconda here to help us. Push that in there. You release it all, and now you just pull out your tire irons. We're on the right side of the rim lock. Now you might be thinking, man, that's a lot of 
tire irons, but sometimes it's the only way to get that in there. So, so the last step is just tighten up that rim lock, get that nice and tight, and you're ready to go racing. No more flats. All right, so we just showed you how to put it on. Um, now we're gonna show you how to take off a moose, which again, has is, is, got some more tricks to it. So we've got our wheel here, and yours, you know, after you run on the moose a little bit, it's, it's a little easier to get off. So it's gonna be easier than what I'm gonna show you right here. So basically we've got it. We've got the rim lock loose. So now we're just gonna get those tire irons down in there. So I like to start across from the rim lock. And uh, we wanna use that tough area, kind of the straight part of the tire iron. So you're gonna push down, you're gonna tuck that tire iron right next to the foot. And we wanna get at least four in here. I might go five, just for fun. All right, so we're gonna start over here kind of in the middle. So we've got, we got about a third of the tire off, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and roll that over to the other side and right where we got the tire off on the other side, we're gonna push the whole thing down. So, got it all pushed down. Just gonna take a tire in right here next to it and just help it off a little bit. And then once it's off, you can just take, take a little bite Go ahead and push that the rest of the way off. Get it off the rim lock and you're done. So there you go. As you can see, I'm sweating. I mean, it took a lot of effort to get it on and off, but definitely worth it. Running a moose, you know, if, if you're racing or you just hate to get flat, definitely running a foam tire insert is the way to go. Um, make sure that you know you have the right tools and you know a great place to get those tools is rockymountainatvmc.com and make sure and subscribe because we've got a bunch of how-to videos that can make your life a little easier see you next time mm -hmm.